Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a two look, one palette video with this right here. This is the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star mini controversy palette. These nine beautiful shades right here. I pretty much have them all on my eyes right now. Yes, I used every single one of them um, to create these two beautiful looks. I know I look a little crazy, but we did one look on each eye today because we did the best with the time that we had, okay? I really hope you guys like both of these looks. I'm about to tell you how to get to them. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it before you leave. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the red subscribe button right there and leave me any comments and questions in the comment section below. If I sound a little different, I am very congested, definitely have a cold right now. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's not make this intro any longer. Let's just go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's get started with the first look. I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush and the color Cry on my couch. And I'm going to kind of set my eye with it and use it kind of as a base for my transition shade just back and forth and windshield wiper motions. I'm going to next go in with the color Exposed and that is going to be my transition color. The color Exposed is like a very, very light lilac color. And with the same Sigma E40, I'm going to blend it all over the crease of my eye. I'm going to grab the color Controversy on an M433 and I'm going to start by stamping it right here on the outer corner of the eye and I am slowly with the tip of that same M433 brush going to start blending it into the crease of my eye ever so slightly and you're going to mix it with the color exposed that you already placed there just back and forth back and forth and windshield wiper motions I went back with a little more just to intensify it all right and I just blended 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 until I got this nice gradient effect you guys you can't skip corners you just have to like give it a couple minutes and just add a bit more at the time and just keep blending keep blending um, you know whenever you want your makeup to look nice and diffuse you just have to give it a bit of time so I am all done blending now I'm at a good place I feel like it looks nice and smooth so I'm going to go in with my number 13 brush from Sephora collection and the color my boyfriend's purse and I'm going to put that color right here on my eyelid and I'm going to create a bit of an edge right here on the crease just with that same color I have not wet my brush or anything but I might do that in a minute and I'm going to go back with a teeny tiny bit of the color controversy and my M433 just to make sure that we know what has to be matte and what has to be shimmer and we kind of establish that I don't really have a brow highlight but I did have concealer under that brow so that is that light shade that you see underneath my brow it's just a very light shade of concealer I'm going to go back and wet my number 13 brush back with the color my boyfriend's purse I'm just going to make it more intense okay so just like this this little palette doesn't really have an inner corner super bright shade so I'm just going to use my boyfriend's purse on the inner corner as well because that is the brightest shade in this palette pretty much and for underneath my eyes I'm getting my M433 and I mix the colors exposed and controversy together and I'm going to just put them right underneath my lashes alright so this is what we're looking like right now I'm going to do mascara and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look okay so this is what this eye looks with a bit more mascara and I went ahead and used this nude color from Kat Von D in the waterline of my eye just to open up my eyes a little bit more so this right here is look number one I'm going to do some lashes and I'll come back to show you the final final look okay guys so I am back and this right here is look number one I'm wearing Barcelona lashes by Lily lashes the ones I always wear I love them they are my absolute favorite I just cannot say enough good things about them they're just so good so good
Okay, let's get started with look number two. The first color I'm going to grab is the color Flat Earth. And with my E40 from Sigma, I'm just going to put that color right here on the crease. So I'm just building it up back and forth in windshield wiper motions on the crease of the eye. Next, with my M433 from Morphe, I'm grabbing the color Diet Root Beer and I am putting it in the crease of the eye back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I'm going to add a bit extra to my outer corner and just build it on the crease. I am also adding that color root beer to my inner corner of my eye and blending it once again into the crease with that same brush. If you guys want my completely like honest opinion, the color flat earth falls flat. I don't see it up there. Like it's non-existent. It just blended in with my skin and I'm not, I don't have blue skin. So that means that it's just not that pigmented, honestly. I'm just going to keep going now. With my ring finger, I'm going to tap the color My Apology to the center of my eye. I uh, changed my mind. I'm not just going to do it on the center. I'm going to do it all over my eyelid. So I'm going in with the color My Apology in my number 13 brush from Sephora collection over the edges just because I feel like my finger can't get everywhere and it be neat and I want it to be neat. Oh yeah, I love that color, my apology. Back with my M433, nothing added to it, just whatever remainings of the diet root beer. I'm going all over the crease to blend the color, my apology, into my diet root beer shade on the crease of my eye. It's back and forth, back and forth, with little pressure, just to blend it all. For my under eye, I'm going to grab the color The Simulation with the E30 from Sigma. We had to use that blue somehow. <laughs> and before you guys come for me, I just don't like blue eyeshadow, okay? <laughs> You're not gonna make me use it all over my crease because it looks bad. It just doesn't look good. And to blend that color out, I'm going to use the color Cancelled right underneath it. I'm putting a little bit of my boyfriend's purse on the inner corner. So next, I'm going to wet this brush right here. This is the M213 from, from Morphe. And it's just a really tiny brush. And with it wet, I'm going to go into the color My Simulation. And we're going to line our eyes with it. This right here is what we have so far. I'm going to redo my concealer because I had some major fallout. I'm going to put mascara on and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, and this is what it looks like with a bit more mascara on. And I did also add a black eyeliner to the waterline of my eye. The one I used was for Makeup Forever. I'm going to put some lashes on and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. All right, guys, so I am back. The lashes are on, and this right here is look number two. I take back what I said about that blue. That blue looks spectacular as eyeliner, okay? I really like it. But, like, a pop of blue is okay. I just don't like it, like, on my crease, you know? This look turned out to be my favorite one out of the two that I did. It was very unexpected. I just kind of went with the flow, and I kept adding things. When I did the blue underneath and I kind of blended it on the outer corner, I'm like, maybe we can make that into a wing. And like, it worked out so nicely. I really, really like it. guys i know i look crazy i really really hope though that you guys enjoyed both looks i just came home from work and i knew that i just didn't have a lot of time to film this video so we went ahead and did one look on each eye i know you guys don't mind that don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave if you haven't yet please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know any comments or questions down below. I will say the only complaint I had was this color right here because I just expected some type of bluish hue to come out from it and like there's nothing there which thankfully because I like this look so much better without it but still like come on. Other than that the rest of the colors were really nice. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!